<laughs> hey, I don't know where to start to oh, shame on me, but okay, make I just start anyway. Hello, everyone. We are back again with another YouTube video. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian. But to you, my returning subscribers, thank you for always tuning in to watch my videos. <laughs> you see this Ghana Nigeria Mataba? Now, me when they carry on for head, me and a host of others when they carry Ghana Nigeria Mata for my head a hawk like gala eh? i'm hawking it <laughs> these two countries will set you up so my dear fellow um social media uh middlemen or you're already taking side like me now i've already taken side with ghana because of sympathy for them because me i know my people i know my niger people then they hurt like pepe and uh, you and a nigerian can quarrel you go exhaust he never even start to do because they 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 condescending they carry you play do you understand so me i understand my people so that is why i the fight give Ghanaians. but i didn't know that all this fight when i fight everywhere eh, don't go for nigeria man eh. hmm. this is my pretty sister here look at her on the screen look at her on the screen was very busy doing me like this she was doing me like this otherwise <laughs> she wasn't doing me like that uh, how come? How come now? No, no, wait. You watch this video. Hey, God, I beg. Oh, wait. Let me let me find myself small. Hmm? Ghana, Nigeria, Mata. <laughs> ah, uh, very soon I will have sense. No problem. I will wise up and allow the two to do what they like because it's as if it's like a husband and wife issues. And usually, if you like, if you know me, you will know that I don't use to settle husband and wife matter. It's when you are done fighting your fights, you have settled, you're settled. That is when you will see me. I will avoid the two of you when you have issues with your husband. Ask people that know me. If you know me and you know that aspect of me, don't worry. People will not know. Use a fake account and comment down below. For whatever reasons, I don't know why I have been taking Ghana matter on my head. I have taken side with Ghana. I did that because I know my Niger people. I have sympathy on my Ghanaian people because they're focused on doing the right thing. They are all, and we Nigerians, doing the wrong thing and doing the right thing is also part of doing the right thing. And me, I know my people very well. So, but I didn't know that all this fight and I'm fighting for Ghanaians. Hey, leave Ghanaians. Hey. One of them was sitting down and they are doing me like this. She and her, her husband to be their poor hand like this. And they are watching my YouTube videos. <laughs> and they are laughing at me. Uh, if you like, cry me a river. We are still, we don't mind you, we don't send you. We love each other. <laughs> Look at them. Moses, Bliz, and Maris, Wiseborn. So they have been trending for some time. I didn't see the need to talk about them because, see, I they like to shoot mouth for Ghana and Jack topic. But this particular one, I feel like I didn't find the need because. Uh, what is so special about two tribes coming together and getting married? Recently, there was a video by a Nigerian pastor, Pastor Funke, and she talked about marrying from your tribe. I was so scared when she made that speech. I was like, what is, what, what is Shali when she made that comment, that statement? I was, I was on Zios. I was like, hey, I beg you, this woman want to, what cause division? And then later in the video, she went on to explain that what she means by marrying your tribe is if you are a Christian, I mean, a born again Christian, go for a born again spouse. Don't go trying to get people from other tribe to come turn them into born again Christians. Christians. Don't go pick ordinary Christians, born Christians, people that are Christians not by choice, but because they are born to be Christians. Don't go pick up someone like that and come trying to make that person born again, and then you marry them, and then later you will complain because you are not from the same tribe. I was relieved. I thought maybe she wanted to say, don't marry a Ghanaian, don't marry a, a Nigerian. Uh -huh. So, Pastor Funke made it very clear, and it wasn't long after that, Moses Blaze now announced his proposal to this beautiful Ghanaian young lady. Seriously, <laughs> you know how I usually behave now. I, I don't know, God forgive me, but I love Ghana, okay? I love everything about Ghanaians, majority of the things. So, I will say everything because when you love a higher percentage of 
I like them a lot because I didn't struggle to blend because because they remind me of my people where I was born and raised. So I didn't struggle to blend when I came to Ghana. And maybe I don't know if that's the reason I love Ghanaians a lot. So when it was announced that it's a Ghanaian lady, I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud. You know, see, I have always stated that eh, Nigerian men are not good. Nigerian men are this. It's not like they are not good. Nigerian men are actually amazing one of the most amazing people in the world but i have explained it before that if you are willing to be loyal if you're willing to be a listener if you're willing to be the one that will sit and wait when you say wait don't move go for a nigerian man they are good so i am not against nigerian men but just that if you're a woman like me that is stubborn that is is to know I will always tell you to avoid Nigerian men because our men like to be overly in, in control. They like to be in charge. And that is because of too much responsibility on them. Our society have made it believe that taking care of the home financially is all on the man. It's all on the man. And that had made them to be defensive and protective and overly controlling to understand because it's not even easy to provide for everything in your home except for a few lucky ones that end up with women that support them so i realized that when you go through all that all that financial burden you are if you are not careful you become a controller because if i'm controlling the financial aspect of my home why shouldn't i control everything the emotional aspect of my home so this is it but someone like moses Someone like Moses Bliss and this beautiful young Ghanaian lady, they are from the same tribe in Christ. They are both born again Christians and I love, I mean, I like them a lot. Like, just look at how young and beautiful they are. They look alike. I don't know if it's only me. They look alike. Just look at them. They look alike. Eh? So, uh -huh, at the end of the day, these people were watching my videos. Mm. And I'm sure the two of them were watching my videos and they were laughing at me. Hey, shame on me. Eh? They won. Me now, I have lost. I don't know if... Uh, now, even to... Why would they invite me for their wedding? I know the venue and I will go. I will go for that wedding. Mm, I will go. You see? I will go. I will not be able to look at their faces because when they see me, they will laugh at me. Yeah, there's so much beauty in the Nigerian Ghanaian community. When we take away this social media negativity that have made it look like, eh, they hate us, they don't like us, they hate us. These two countries love themselves beyond words. And recently I was at a comment section of a YouTube video and all I could see there was Nigerians saying, so Ghana don't lose to, I don't know who played against Ghana that day because see, you see um, ball, I'm not a fan. So I was looking at the comment section of a YouTube video and there there were some Nigerians were like, eh, Shebi, Ghana have gone to lose now to uh, the country they played against that day. Eh, they have lose, Abi. If they are playing with Nigerians now, they will play as if their life depend on it. They will use all their 10 years time career to put it into the match and to make sure that they win Nigeria. <sighs> I was like... So at this point, you know, after, after all that I gave up, like these people, these two, hmm? these two, you see Ghana and Nigeria, they are like um, young, <laughs> young children. I don't know if it happens to you where your child and another child is playing and the other child spank your child and you being a protective and overly, overly spoiled brat mom, you go there and spank the other child. And the mother of the other child sees you. She comes out and you guys are fighting. Uh, you know what these kids usually do? They will hold each other hand and walk away, leaving you two to fight. So that is me and the case of Ghana Nanja. I'm busy fighting. One minute I'm here fighting oh, for Ghanaians, but they are at my back. Loving, getting married, kissing, and moving on with life. And doing me, oh, no problem. I take it. <laughs> I take it. Hey, I'm, I'm happy because, and the truth is, I'm very happy for this union. It's not only, see, Moses and uh, Mary's wise born are not the only 
Ghanaian Nigerian couple. I'm working on documenting couples from Ghana Nigeria. In fact, on YouTube here, there are plenty. There are so many popular people that you know on YouTube here and the ones that you do not know. I'm documenting that. I'm making, I'm bringing out a video on them. I want to show you Ghanaians and Nigerian marriages, young people. I'm not talking about the mama and papa before. I'm talking about young people. These people used to watch my videos. They will be just be doing me like this. You there, cry me a river. Me, I'll be here fighting. So, for people that have made videos that trended saying Nigerians, a eh, white Ghanaian woman, that lady is that woman is speaking for herself. She just wants to trend, and Nigerians condemned her and are still condemning her. So, anyone that sees that video, don't take you serious. We love our marriage. Do you know one thing about Nigerians that you don't know? See, one thing about Nigerians that you may not know is they prefer to come and marry your people and bring them to Nigeria. That is how Nigerian men are. Yeah? They like that idea very well. When you marry a Nigerian girl and take her away, they feel like they have lost that one because in Nigeria, they believe that marriage is life and death. Like it's the death do you part. Even in death, you own that woman. Some cultures in Nigeria. So they prefer to come and marry from you and add to them. Mm -hmm. so this is to tell you that you see that woman crying me a river on youtube i mean which social media platform i think is tiktok she's doing that at her own she's just jealous oh, look at this fine girl like this and not be jealous of her just looking at her you can guess her character she don't have bad character like me <laughs> she's all like me that have a bad character just looking at her. nigerians and Ghanaians marriage have been there and it's still there I know a lot of people in Nigeria are born by Ghanaian mom, mm, by Ghanaian women. I know a lot of them. I was in Ogbogonogo market in Asaba because see this girl, I like to wear makeup. I have been like this even when I was a lot younger. So there's this makeup customer of mine. She sells authentic makeup products at Ogbogonogo markets and she's always very serious with her business. Recently, one of these trips to Nigeria, I went to patronize her because it has been a while and because I know she sells authentic authentic makeup products and I wanted to buy and she was like, hey, hey you don't tell, uh, where have you been? You know they stay at Saba again and I'm like, yes. She's okay, where are you now? I said, I now live in Ghana. She was like, eh, hey, you say what? You live in Ghana? Hey, which part? I said I'm in Accra. She was like, her mom is from Takradi. See, this is a Saba Delta state we are talking about. There are so many Nigerians and Ghanaians. You see this fight? Maybe me, I will stop. I'm not fighting again. Eh? All this fight I'm fighting. Ghanaians are not even supporting me. Eh? When you do that fighting video for them, they didn't send you. They don't send you. They will look you. They don't send you. They want you to just. If you love them, focus on the good part of them and don't worry about what Nigerians are saying or doing to them. Really, we have told you, you know, they hear. Yeah. Now, me, they use my oversabi head, my CPT, because I they pity Ghanaians, as they know they feel quarry, they know they too like Wahala, and I make a they pity them. But I see be like this now. <laughs> when these two went behind my back, after all the preaching, uh, stay away from Nigerian men. Nigerian men will beat you. I have done everything. Nigerian men have demonstrated. They still went on. So you see, this fight, I'm not doing it again, okay? I want to focus on um, incredible things in Ghana. Mm. Because it's not me, people will be embarrassing like this. I mean, like, what is this? Anyways, congratulations to them. I'm happy. And the wedding will be in Accra. Just that <laughs> Moses was warning the guy that leaked it. Don't make my wedding venue a public one. I know the venue. And if I like, if I get cloth to wear, I will go. I will go and eat jello rice. <laughs> because that's where you... I will go and know the Ghanaian and uh, Nigerian jello. I will go because I believe it. Both, both of these rice will be prepared on that day. And I will go for this. Hmm? What do you think? Please, if you want me to go, comment down below. Because I know the venue and I know... <laughs> I know the dates. Even though they didn't want people to come, I will still go. Uh -uh. After all my fight for these two countries, this is why they pay me back. Guys, I'm tired. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.